Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. Hey, everyone. It is Wednesday, and I'm on my way into work. Sorry I haven't been doing much vlogging lately. Uh, I had some personal stuff I was taking care of, and just really haven't filmed anything really interesting. So, uh it's it's yeah it's been a trying week so far but i'm gonna get back on the horse here and or back in the saddle or however the the word the wording is for that sorry i'm dead tired my daughter had to get up at four o'clock this morning they, they went on a trip to new york city to see a play <sighs> i'm tired <laughs> but i'm heading into work right now we got a rainy damp cold um not a cold chilly morning but we'll take it because after this storm goes through today, we are looking at upper 70s and low 80s for the next week. I will take it. After the spring that we've had here in New England, I will take this weather. Guarantee you by the end of the week, people are going to be complaining that it's too hot. That's New England. We, we, we like complaining. But it's funny because we're at the time of year here in New England where you'll have the heat on in your car in the morning because it's chilly. And then coming home, you'll have the air conditioning on. I don't know many other places in the United States that does that, but that, that's here in Rhode Island. But anyway, I got to get going. I'm running a little bit late to get to work, which I shouldn't because I was up early. But another story, I, I'm not the fastest moving person in the morning. But heading into work, uh, hopefully a normal day. And I'll get, we'll try to get with you guys throughout the day. Show you some interesting stuff. See how the weather is, though, because it's supposed to be pretty miserable today. But... Like I try to do every day, dash cam. right now so I gotta get out of work uh, heavy pouring rain out right now so it's gonna be a horrible commute home uh, not sure what I'm gonna do when I get home I was kind of hoping to be able to get outside because it's been kind of misty all day just very light rain so I could have gotten outside but with the heavy rain right now I don't know how long it's gonna last so we'll see see what happens when I get home um, I have to go pick up my daughter about 11 o'clock 10 30 11 o'clock tonight she went to New York City today to see a play with school. I guess it's uh, Mean Girls is the name of the play. Uh, she enjoys going to New York. Her, my wife, and my youngest daughter love going there. I have no inkling to go there. I have, nope. Nope. Don't even want to go to New York. Uh, so she should be coming back. She's going to be dead tired. She's got to go to school in the morning, too. So it's going to be a rough, rough morning tomorrow morning. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to be getting out of here. Um, figure out what I'm going to do when I get home. I know my other channel, Learning Photography, I need to put up uh, a couple of videos. I haven't kind of waxed off on that, too. Uh, like I said, I had stuff going on that I had to take care of, so I didn't have the time to do the videos like I wanted to. Uh, one of the things I had to do today is I have a Magic Mouse for my Mac laptop. I don't like using the trackpad. I, I've got to use the mouse. came from one of my um, iMacs that I have at home. And it's about seven years old. Well, finally, finally, finally pooped the bed today. Uh, I can only click in certain areas and it's a pain in the butt trying to use. So I, I had to order a new one. Holy mackerel, are they expensive. <laughs> the good thing with the new Magic Mice 2, or Magic Mouse 2, is that it's got rechargeable batteries in it. So I don't have to keep on replacing the batteries. But 70 bucks for a mouse. Wow. 
Wow. And I was half tempted of just going to Target and getting a $10 mouse, but the Magic Mouse has preset functions in it that I use, and for the design stuff that I do, it it, it works a lot better. So I, I ordered a new one. Uh, but then when I got the, the bill in, it was a lot more expensive than I thought it should have been. Went back and checked in. My wife had accidentally left a 60-count box of Dunkin' Donuts uh, K-Cups in the shopping cart. I didn't realize it was there, so I ordered. So not only do I have the, the mouse coming, I got a 60-count pack of Dunkin' Donut K-Cups. So going to be drinking a lot of coffee. But anyway, like I said, I'm getting out of here. I will get with you throughout the day. Uh, we're going to go right to dash cam. <laughs> traffic coming home was absolutely horrible but uh, putting away my camera equipment from the weekend and take me a little while it's just busy 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 this week um trying to neaten everything up straighten it up put it back where it belongs uh, yeah <laughs> I wanted to shoot a video for my learning photography site channel whatever you want to call it and don't think I'm really going to have a chance to do it, uh, so we'll see. Um, but we'll get something, we'll do something, figure it out. But all right, let me get back to putting this stuff away. Oh my God, it's just this this basement just explodes on me for some reason. I had it clean. I don't know how it didn't become or stay clean, but it's a mess again. <sighs> I got to learn to put stuff away when I'm done with it. But all right, let me get finished cleaning here. All right, everyone. I just wanted to get back with you. I let you know a little bit. All right, everyone. I just wanted to get back with you. I let you know a little while ago that I ended up having to buy a new Magic Mouse for my Mac. Uh, freaking expensive, wicked expensive. Uh, I love my Macs. I absolutely love them. Uh, I've been in computers now since the early '90s. I actually was in computers in the early 80s but got away from it for a little while uh, back in the DOS days and yeah basic programming yeah, that I used to used to do that stuff I was only in junior high school at the time so uh, when I got into high school I got away from it and then once I got into my early 20s I bought my first computer and I got hooked back on it so I've been I used Windows computers from the early 90s Windows 3.11 and I used it all the way up until, God, I was on Windows XP. I think it was, was it XP? I think Windows XP, Windows 8 was the last that I used. And I bought a an iMac. I loved, fell in love with it right there. I'm still, that was, has to be almost 10 years ago. I'm still using the same iMac now. Um, I ended up buying another iMac. Ended up buying a MacBook Pro uh, to use for my day-to-day -day work. I'm a web designer. Uh, I love them. I love that they're, they're easy to use. Uh, the, I had Windows laptops before, and whenever I was to shut down a Windows laptop, it would take me 15, after having it for a while, there was so much garbage in the computer. It would take 15 to 20 minutes just for the thing to shut down. A Mac, you push the button, it's down. Lift the, open it up, the computer's up. You can't, you can't beat them. The only problem with them is they are expensive. Extremely expensive. Like I said, the mouse from my original iMac finally died. Had to order another one. Expensive. 70 bucks. 70 bucks for a mouse. Uh, on the Mac site, or the Apple site, if you go into the the Mac section and buy it from them, it's 80 bucks. 
but if the mouse is going to last me 10 years, I, I, you got to look at it that way because if I go to, like I was saying earlier, I was going to go just go to Target and get a, a $15 mouse, but that thing would be dead within, within six months. I'd be buying another one. So, I mean, if you look at it that way, it, it's actually the mouse is worth it because they, they do last. Uh, and that, like I said, that's the one thing with the Macs, they do last. Uh, the original MacBook Pro that I had was, it was a battery problem. Batteries only last so long. And, I mean, I had that thing for seven years, six or seven years. And it never gave me a problem up until the end when the batteries are gone. I still have it. I can If I plug it in, it works fine. Um, I ended up buying a new MacBook Pro four years ago, three or four years ago. And I use that thing six to seven days a week. I edit all of these videos on it. You know, I absolutely love, love the Macs. The, the ease of, they're so easy to use. Uh, I got to shoot video for my learning photography channel. Uh, I, I'm, I'm procrastinating because I, I don't really want to do it right now, but I'll get back to, I'll get back to you guys once I get that shot. All right, everyone, I just got the two videos shot for my learning photography channel. Uh, I hate having to come up with topics. Uh, when I'm just talking off the top of the head like I am here to you guys, I don't have a problem with it, but when I have to stay structured, I tend to go off on a tangent. <laughs> Big time go off on a tangent. But I got two of them. I got to edit them. Uh, Bruins are playing game seven, and they're actually playing right now. But I'm recording the game so that I'm behind a little bit. Uh, that way I can fast forward over the, com the commercials. I hate watching commercials. But uh, they shouldn't have gotten to a Game 7. Should not have gotten to a Game 7. No way. They were up 3-1 on Toronto. And just, uh, I'm worried for tonight. I'm absolutely worried for the game tonight. Uh, Toronto is just too fast. They are too fast. They are skating circles around the Bruins right now. Um, anytime a Bruin gets a puck, there's three Toronto guys on him. Yet when Toronto gets a puck, it's, you're lucky if there's one Bruin guy on him. One Bruin player, I should say. So I'm worried about tonight. Uh, if the Bruins do lose tonight, they're out. And I think the season would be a disappointment. Especially the way they played throughout the season. They're a the second best team in the Eastern Conference. Uh, I would expect that if you're that good in the regular season that you get past the first round. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not taking anything away from Toronto. Toronto had a great season also. The last um, quarter of the season, they came on like gangbusters. That team just gelled. So, but, I mean, the Bruins should should beat them. Um, they should have beaten them already. Uh, other thing tonight, Red Sox are playing Toronto. Uh, they lost a kind of a heartbreaker last night. Uh, they were down 3-1 going into the ninth inning. They scored two runs in the top of the ninth to tie it. Went on into the 10th inning, and they brought in Kimbrel, their all-world closer, and he gave up a home run to lose the game. Uh, but, you know, they're starting to come back to earth. The Red Sox, that's their fourth loss in a row. Uh, the offense just, I think the, the scouting and the pitching has figured out the Red Sox offense. So, you know, they got to get it together. Uh, I still think that the class of the American League East uh, just need to get it together. They're going to go through these stretches. It's a long season. I mean, we're, we're not even through the first month of the season yet. So, but the other bright spot, and I really don't follow basketball too much. I'm not a big fan of basketball, but the Celtics won last night. I think they were up 3-2 to two in their series against Milwaukee. So a lot of sports going on right now if you're a Boston fan. A lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm going to go up and watch the Bruins game. Uh, I'll get back with you guys a little bit later. Uh, let you know how the Bruins made out. Uh, that's if I didn't break my TV with the Bruins. Hopefully I don't. I don't think my wife would be too happy with me if I did. But anyway. But alright, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. I'll let you know how the Bruins made out. Alright everyone, Burns game just ended. What a game. 
what a game. Bruins ended up winning game seven against Toronto, seven to four. Uh, they were down going into the third period. They were playing horrible, absolutely horrible. And then the, they just clicked. And they ended up scoring three goals. Pulled their, uh, Toronto pulled their goalie. That's how they got the, the fourth goal. Uh, what a game. So they're on to play Tampa Bay right now. This series really worries me. Tampa was the best team in the East this year. So they got they got their work up to them. Work up to them. Yeah, I think that's the right saying. So that should be, hopefully that's pretty good. Pretty good. They, um... They played Tampa pretty well throughout the whole entire regular season, so the, the the one thing I noticed with this game was driving me nuts is the passing. The passing was horrible for the past three games, but in that four, in that third period, the passing came together and they ended up they ended up winning the game and the series. Uh, the one thing that I love and hockey is the only sport that does this is after a series like this, they do a handshake line. To me, that's sportsmanship. That's something from youth sports where they everyone lines up and they shake hands at the end of the game. I love that they do that in hockey, and I'm glad that's a tradition that they, they keep, and I hope they never get rid of it. But, like I said, Bruins are on to Tampa Bay. Uh, I believe that the first game is on Saturday. It's either Saturday or Sunday. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll have to double check. But, also... Uh, Red Sox were playing in Toronto tonight. They ended up winning. Mookie Betts hit, hit two home runs, so it was a clean sweep against Toronto tonight. Two wins for the Boston teams. <sighs> I was worried there. I was worried at the end of the second period with the Bruins, but they ended up coming through. So, all right, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, my wife's just headed over to get my daughter uh the bus should be coming in probably right about now uh she's been in new york all day so she's going to be dead tired when she gets home so i'll end the video here thank you for watching i do appreciate it if you're new to the vlog thank you uh if you want if you like this video click the like button over here if you didn't like it leave me a comment below let me know what you didn't like about it i no problem leave whatever comment you want if you want, you can click right here and subscribe. If you click that little bell icon, you'll get a notification anytime that I put up a new video. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And the Bruins are on to Tampa Bay.